Hi there, this is Jacob Baugh, Jacob Slider with Team Card Hoarder. Uh, we're back for the final round with uh, Green White Rights. Uh, we're 3 and 1, see if we can pull a 4 1 out of this uh, interesting retake to standard. Uh, uh, this hand looks great. Uh, I'm going to probably lead on Ether Hub and burn my energy. Just certainly keeping. Just a uh, canopy coming in to play tap is kind of annoying, but. I'm not only getting any hand that has turn one guy into I think recruiter is my play on next turn. Attack for one recruiter. I could actually no, it's probably better to play canopy and not attack. Depends on what I draw actually, but yeah, I'm gonna play canopy and just not attack. I can't what am I doing? I can't do that. Thinking I have rights in play already. That's not how this works. <laughs> Alright, so. I play Duskwatch Recruiter then. And attack my opponent for one. As long as my Duskwatch Recruiter doesn't die, I'm feeling real good about this game. Well, green blue normally doesn't mean removal, so. Unless it's Harness Lightning. I imagine it's some sort of artifact thing or energy based deck, so. It's not an artifact based thing, it's definitely an energy based thing. More Duskwatch recruiters. So. Uh, do I play Wright's Tapland Duskwatch? Or do I play Wright's Untapped Land Activate Duskwatch? I think I'd rather put second dust watch into play uh, and play a tap land because I think going access to the most mana possible and just having two dust watch recruiters in play is great. Makes all of my spells insane. Is this Gideon? All right, whatever. Should be able to grind through Gideon pretty easily with this hand. play spell it's a question I kind of want these to flip it's probably right just to use one see what we hit and then decide if we want to well, we hit Avison so we may, we may have fixed our decision so So we want these to flip, so we're just passing the turn. All right. Opponent has an emblem. Does that mean they have a second Gideon? All right. What are we gonna do with that Gideon? Suicide it for him. Four mana knight seems good. All right. Huh. All right. So this is a Gideon, these are at face. Do I want to play a Servant pre-combat to entice the block? Or is that too telegraphed? I don't think my opponent has a sweeper. So, I don't think there's any reason not to do that. Do I need the mana? Can I still crack my clue? It's the only other question. I have three. I have the mana from the Avacyn. I think I can still crack my clue. Because it costs three. 
Yeah, I can still crack my clue. So yeah, I'm gonna play the servant uh, pre-combat to entice my opponent to block my howlers. So. Attack him. Attack him. Attack Gideon. Alright. Blocks. White. White. One. And Avison. And choose one to keep. I want this one. Alright. My creatures are indestructible. Clear my opponent's board and have a clue to crack. I don't think my opponent has any way to destroy my creatures either to make this play backfire. And I also wanted my Duskwatch recruiters on the back side, on this side now. Reflector. Alright. What are you bouncing? Epson. I don't see how my opponent get out of this unless I have a decoration in stone to clear my Duskwatch recruiters. But they still are fighting a very uphill battle. to six mana. I just want my cards to flip and play an Avacyn again. What is this? Queller? Okay. Oh, my opponent made my Dusk Arch Creators not flip. That's super annoying. Yeah, whatever. Cameo. Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to trade their creatures for... Rights. That's certainly not what we want. Uh, one has no more energy, so servant can't play another queller. So, do I want to trade Avison for a card? Yeah, all tech. Avacyn and the Tamiyo play Lancers, find a Bruna, I guess. Not begin combat. Uh, attack Tamiyo. Alright, that's fine too. So I'm going to use the ability. Oh, which card is the best? So I get Bruno, but it doesn't really do anything. Gisela really doesn't do anything either. I don't have enough cards in my graveyard for Sigarda to really matter that much. Giving my creatures hexproof would be nice, since I have all humans. Oh, this is an elf, but I have mostly humans. 
But I think I actually just want this thing. This thing's great. Been very impressed with this card, so. And just start making MP AP creatures. I'm gonna hold the other Dallas Recruiter. Start playing it. Alright. Plus on my Lancers and my Angel. Sure. There's no attacks. In my hand, he's on the bottom. Flip my cadooters. And activate once. Any order. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna make one. That leaves me with enough mana to do everything I want. I'm just not gonna attack. I don't want to him to draw cards. I didn't even crack the rolling wilds. Alright, they have a self spirit. Make an eight eights. I'm just going to keep making sequentially larger constructs and sit here. No reason to give him cards off Tamiyo. I can just not do anything. Yep. My deck goes much bigger than your, your Planeswalkers, which is a nice bonus. I really, really like this card over this video. Like. I think it's actually pretty absurd right now. Uh, I don't, I don't know why no one's ever really. I don't think anyone's ever tried this card and constructed, but as a, a one mana creature, it's pretty absurd. As a late game finisher, it's kind of like uh, Dragon Master Arcast used to be. As a one drop. I don't know why my opponent's just not conceding, but I guess they just wanted me to eat more time. I don't know I used energy. Oops. I like energy really matters. I think I have enough to Alpha Strike and Lethal my opponent next turn. I'm assuming. So four, four, seven, ten, fourteen, eighteen, nineteen. Let's block the three constructs. Oh, I uh, just F2 through my activation. Whatever. Alright.
Why is my opponent still playing this game? This one. Servos. All right, so my opponent blocks two of them. I get in four, two, three, four, five. Not enough, okay. All right. Uh, I imagine this isn't lethal, so I'm just gonna swing. <laughs> They're all three power, block three of them. One of my creatures are gonna die. Alright. Alright, so I want Fairgrounds Wardens. Kind of like decorations. I didn't see copters, but I imagine there's copters. I didn't see deck. I didn't see stasis snares either. I went through a lot of cards. I have a bunch of planeswalkers. I probably approach this how I approach the other matchup is trim some Gideons. Put some more interactive spells in my deck. Question is, do I want clip wings? I don't know how deep down that rabbit hole they are. They don't have, I don't think I want always watching. Is a good trump. If I put an always watching, it's to take out more Gideons. Uh, actually seems fine. Possibly do this. I want more decorations. Natural state's the other, the other question I have. And Thalia. They're on the triple color mana base, so Thalia gets way better in that regard because it hurts their mana base so much. Uh, I don't need Sigarda, other than it's just a big thing. Why am I over still? I thought I was under. Uh -huh. Do I want any Gideons? I think I want at least one Gideon. I think 
I want to board out with a card. And I kind of want this other decoration. Twenty-eight creatures. I don't have any ways to make Avison bad. So I want all my Avisons. I think always watching is actually pretty good here. Uh, Baragon's Warden's situationally bad, but I think it's definitely worth it. So we could just cut a one drop. So cut a rights. Yeah, I'm just gonna run it right. That's fine. Warning some other enchantments, so I don't want to go too deep down that rabbit hole in case they board in removal for them. But this hand would be great if it had lands, obviously. Uh, I would have probably kept this if I had one one less right, one more forest. But as is, I have Mulligan, obviously. Uh, this hand looks great. Rights, uh, spells that are useful, and lands, so keep. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with throwing Evisons. Opponent Mulligan as well. Yeah, let's leave it on Forest. Just gonna play the Forest Plains first, so... I can turn on my other lands. This is tap lands. Tap lands for days, yep. Punish for your deck choice of three color garbage. Right. Just play Servant. Probably gonna get reflected, but such is life. I don't think I want a fairgrounds warden that, so I would like to get rights under, but I think I'm gonna play Dustwatch Crew instead. I could fairgrounds warden to be more mana efficient. I also kind of want to save Fairgrounds Warden to reset a Spell Queller. Uh, hmm. So I've play, played Rites this turn. It would be way less mana efficient, that's for sure, as well, because I'm losing access to the mana I get on for my creature in the turn afterwards. And I also get the potential of flipping a Duskwatch Recruiter. I should have I should have played Aether Hub, actually, because I drew Temple of Tilts at the top. But... It's too late now. By Temple of Delta, I mean Fortified Village. Because uh, I want all my lands to be untapped, so it would have been much safer to play Aether Hub. I would just like. Glossy Eyes over just Drew Canopy Vista, play Canopy Vista. <laughs> uh, didn't think about it till I clicked. Put my servant. I'm glad they have a servant. They're still getting punished on their mana base. Alright, so I can play rights. I think I want to Fairground Sword and their servant of conduit. Keep them off of Abyssin mana. I could also servant and three minutes factor. I think it's actually better to do this. Should play this. And colorless that guy. Play this guy. Alright. Dump my hand into play. Alright, that's sad but fine. I got a bunch of clues. My opponent doesn't have much pressure. I was much more afraid of getting Planeswalker that turn than getting stuck in Clue Land. So, alright. Just gonna pass with a Clue Crack plus Archangel. So, I guess I could potentially draw something I might want to play. Hmm. 
No, that's wrong. Uh, if my opponent attacks, I want to be able to block and just crack my clue with uh, open creatures, so... That happen there. Continue playing out my junk, getting more clues. Now I'm gonna crack the clue before. Let's attack for four. My vigilance mana dork. What is this? They have their own Avison. Okay. I don't think I want to. I don't think I really care. Yeah, it just happens. I wasn't gonna play around that, so. I'm just gonna fairgrounds word in that. All I can. And make a long dryad. I'm not attacking, I'm just gonna probably lose this game, so. Is this five mana? Or six mana, alright, whatever. You got three threes. My opponent thought they needed to go bigger than me, which I guess is the case. Man, they're just dead to that card. That is for sure. Um, Duskwatch Cruder is so good. I don't know why people quit playing it. Alright, you have Tamiya. Alright. Brick City. Man, that always washing would have been great. Gets a draw card, which is annoying. But then I'll draw more declarations. So I can advocate, that's fine. Combat. Do I want to kill that Tamiya? Definitely could. So I can flip my Avison, kill Tamiyo. What is it, parody on board? Opponent would have one card. I have like Clue. So it'd be like Lenvala versus my board. No, they get Avison back. I can't do that. Okay, never mind. That's stupid. All right. So then this is just attacking. Attack Tamiyo. My opponent trades off their angel. They do. Alright. Want to play a spell? Oh, this goes to you. Actually, not what I expected my opponent to do. Six 
Expecting my opponent to get real aggressive here, and they are not. With like lumbering falls and such. As it stands. I don't want to trade off something. Yeah, I should activate Duskwatch, see what we get here. Tap the crappy creatures first. Because I don't think I would ever block with. Yep, no blocks. I get to draw another card. Just need to find some of my big flyers, and I'm just not doing it. Well, that's annoying. That's actually good for me. I didn't expect for him to bounce that. I thought he would bounce, like, the Sparecrowns Warden, get back his Archangel. But I will accept your offer graciously, I guess. Found a flyer. Nice. So now I don't have to worry about absent flipping until I can use it in a combat that, like crushes my opponent. Maybe he's thinking he's gonna get to emblem this, but now I can just like alpha and not care. I only have three people who can attack. Tamio, attack Tamio. I have one, two, three. Is this enough to cast Avison? So. So I'm going to trade off my Duskwatch Recruiter. Do I only want to do that? I definitely want to trade off some creatures, that's for sure. But I don't have much time to think about this. I, mean, I just don't want to trade off creatures. I've a spell color. Uh, getting spell card actually kind of helps me because now I have more reasoning plus on those two. All right, whatever. ability, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, why did that work like that? Finally 
found a thing. This is targeted on. In combat, one, two, three, four, five blockers. One, two, three, four, five. I get in for like 10 damage. It's not lethal, so. All right, my opponent has Avicen. I think I'm just gonna kill this Tamiya. And yeah. leave back two creatures so it's definitely this guy and I guess this guy no, I don't want to I don't want to block with that so this guy Jeez. They want Spring Falls? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Make your blocks. So, none of my opponent's creatures are dying except for this. I think I'm dead in the water. I don't, just don't have time to finish this game. So... This is Tamiyo. I think I'm dead. And if minus Tamiyo plus activate Limbering Falls, Alpha Strike, I block Limbering Falls, take 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm not dead. I go to 1. doesn't change the math, so actually it makes that better for me because now my absence not flipping. Oh, that does change the math. They have freaking mana dork. Alright, I'm dead. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to finish the last game with my time. I just did not hit any of the creatures that mattered early enough with my activations. I should have attacked with one less flyer. If I attack with one less guy, maybe I just don't attack. That's the correct play there. Alright, so I think I have to try and aggro my opponent, which means top end gone. Like Bruno, Gisela, this, uh, board in this, this card's gone. Out of here, Gideon. Do you have to straight attack my opponent to death. Since I have no time, this is my only route to victory. Get out of here! All right, 
Yes, play first. Keep. Uh, I need to learn to play faster while I'm recording. Like, think about stuff more than what I normally would when I'm playing. So, keep f sixing. I don't think there's any way I'm gonna have enough time, but can definitely try. What am I doing? Took way too much time doing that. My opponent's just like gonna F6 me to death, I'm pretty sure. If I have like a 2 3, I'm just like 2 2. Uh, just missed my combat step. Uh, oops. This guy. Alright, play this guy. This needs to go away. Opponent certainly doesn't have an upkeep stop. I need to not have an upkeep stop. Right. I should have attacked with one more. I forgot I had a land. Five seconds. I am sure I'm not gonna have time to do this. Declaration. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm certainly can't win, can't win it anymore. My hope was just uh, attacking my opponent and not, and not having removal. Factor extreme. All right, I timed out. Uh, I don't know if I would have won that match, but I think I should have won game two. I think I played really poorly trying to rush my clock. Uh, I definitely need to get better at that while recording. Uh, but we ended three and two, which is fine. I think we got pretty unlucky in our, both our losses, obviously. Uh, the, the second one more more so, but against the blue eyed opponent, we. Probably should have lost, uh, just based on how we drew and how we played game two. So, hi there, this is Jacob Ball, Jacob's Ladder with Team Card Hoarder. Uh, we're back for the, with the conclusion of our uh, league with uh, Green White Cryptoth Rights. Uh, I was pretty impressed with this deck actually, uh, pairing against uh, Blue White and against Green Black when I played against okay, it's Blue White twice, uh, Green Black once. The list was a little different, but it was still basically the same shell. Uh, Trying to Ishkana a bunch and just get Delirium and cast Emrakul at the end game. So, uh, but uh, I definitely liked Dustwash Recruiter. Still, definitely should have a place in standard, and it's just not getting utilized by any deck because of how poorly it synergizes with uh, creatures with crew. Uh, and it's just the the best mana sink you could ever hope for in the end game. It clawed me out of so many uh, grindy matchups where we support stall and I just won because I was drawing three two to three cards a turn. Uh, just off the power of Dustwatch Recruiter and Scriplith Rights, which I think is definitely great. I was pretty actually unimpressed with Gideon. 
other than like against the blue red deck where I just like played it and made some things. I didn't actually need it against green black. Uh, I just like played my game of dorks card advantage stuff and just out attrition them. And then hopefully that I didn't get Immercruel and get crushed too hard by it. Uh, Abyssin definitely s did not seem like something I actually kind of liked in this deck. Most of the time it just turned off my attack routes. Even though it was great, it's uh, creating the board stalls, but it also just made me not be able to attack a lot with its flip. So it's possibly white's just not what you want to be with this deck right now. Maybe you want to be uh, black or something like that, but uh, I wouldn't say I want to say for sure. This card impressed the hell out of me, for sure. Uh, it just was a, a much a needed, another mana sink. You could find enough Lancers, which is a pretty nice pickup for uh, for white, is why I tried it originally, but uh, this card could definitely see play in this dark, in this type of deck in the future. Uh, if I try a different list uh, with a different color, I'm definitely going to keep this card, uh, possibly more numbers, maybe two, uh, and try it out, because you want access to more one drops to make Lone Dryad draws uh, work out. And you can cast five drops and four drops as early as possible with it. But the Lone Dryad into Duskwatch Recruiter into another one drop draws is just like absurd. Uh, the stuff you can power on the next turn if your opponent doesn't make a play. Uh, gets access to like five mana cards or just like rights into four mana cards on turn three. So uh, it's really nice in that regard. So I might look at trying to do something like that with maybe black uh, going back to the green black list, possibly the combo or something like that. But other than that, uh, I definitely give this deck a put possibly contender, probably not tier 1, but probably tier 1, 5, maybe tier 2, but uh, I definitely want to keep working on it in the future and possibly play this uh, something like this at the Imitational, but uh, we'll see in the future, and that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, the sideboard cards were just stuff I wanted to test, so they worked out as well. I probably wanted to play more Servants in the future, just play all four. Just having more mana darks is great when you didn't have rights. So that's it. See you next week.